Ken Curtis was a legendary figure in the world of Western entertainment, known for his iconic role as Festus Hagen on the long-running TV series Gunsmoke and his impressive career as a singer and musician. Born on July 2, 1916 in Lamar, Colorado, Ken's love for music and acting began at an early age. He honed his skills as a singer and guitarist, performing with several big bands before joining the popular Western music group, the Sons of the Pioneers. Ken's deep, rich voice and talent on the guitar helped to make him a beloved figure in the world of Western music. Later, he gained fame as an actor, becoming a regular on Gunsmoke in the role of Festus Hagen. Ken's impact on Western entertainment was immense, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of artists. In this video, we will explore the life and career of Ken Curtis, from his early days as a musician, to his iconic role on Gunsmoke, and his enduring legacy in the world of Western entertainment. Chapter 1. Early Life and Career Ken Curtis was born on July 2, 1916 in Lamar, Colorado. His given name was Curtis Gates, but he later adopted the stage name Ken Curtis. He was the youngest of three children and grew up on a ranch in southeastern Colorado. His family was involved in ranching and farming, and Ken developed a love for the outdoors and horses from an early age. Ken's interest in music began when he was a child, and he learned to play guitar and sing from his mother. As a teenager, he formed a band with his brother and performed at local events. In 1933, at the age of 17, Ken left home and joined the Tommy Dorsey Band as a singer. He later joined the Shep Fields Band and performed with them for several years. In 1942, Ken joined the U.S. Army and served in World War II. He was stationed in Europe and performed with the Army Special Services Division, entertaining troops with his singing and guitar playing. After the war, he returned to the United States and resumed his music career. In the late 1940s, Ken joined the Sons of the Pioneers, a popular Western music group. He sang with the group for several years and appeared in a number of Western films. Ken's deep, rich voice and cowboy image made him a popular performer, and he quickly gained a following. In the 1950s, Ken began to transition to acting and appeared in a number of Western films and TV shows. He had small roles in films like The Searchers and How the West Was Won, and he appeared in TV shows like Have Gun, Will Travel, and Rawhide. In 1962, he landed the role that would make him a household name, Festus Hagen on the TV series Gunsmoke. Ken's early life and career set the stage for his success in music and acting. His upbringing on a ranch in Colorado gave him a deep appreciation for the Western way of life and his early experiences in music and entertainment gave him the skills he needed to succeed as a performer. Chapter 2. Gunsmoke Ken Curtis is perhaps best known for his role as Festus Hagen on the long-running TV series Gunsmoke. He joined the show in 1962 during its eighth season and quickly became a fan favorite. Festus was a scruffy, lovable character with a strong southern accent and a quick wit, and Ken played him to perfection. The character of Festus was originally intended to be a one-time guest role, but the producers were so impressed with Ken's performance that they brought him back for additional episodes. Eventually, Festus became a regular character on the show, and Ken was promoted to a series regular. Ken's chemistry with the other actors on Gunsmoke was a key part of his success on the show. He had a particularly strong bond with James Arnes, who played Marshal Matt Dillon, and the two men became close friends off-screen as well. Ken's southern accent and folksy charm also played well off of the other characters on the show, and his sense of humor helped to lighten the mood in what was often a serious and intense series. Over the course of his 11 seasons on Gunsmoke, Ken's character evolved and grew. Festus started out as a rough-edged deputy with a checkered past, but he gradually became more refined and polished. He also became more of a romantic lead, with several love interests over the course of the show's run. Ken's performance as Festus earned him critical acclaim and a loyal following of fans. He was nominated for two Emmy Awards for his work on the show, and his portrayal of Festus has been praised as one of the greatest character performances in TV history. Even after Gunsmoke ended its run in 1975, Ken continued to be associated with the character of Festus. He made numerous appearances at Western-themed events and festivals, and he continued to be a popular guest on talk shows and TV specials. In many ways, 
Gunsmoke was the defining role of Ken Curtis' career. It allowed him to showcase his talents as both an actor and a musician, and it cemented his place in Western pop culture history. Even today, decades after the show's end, Ken Curtis and Festus Hagen remain beloved by fans of all ages. Chapter 3 Music Career Before Ken Curtis became a well-known actor, he was a talented singer and musician. His love for music started at an early age, and he honed his skills as a guitarist and vocalist throughout his youth. In the 1930s and 1940s, he performed with several big bands, including the Tommy Dorsey Band and the Shep Fields Band. In the late 1940s, Ken joined the Sons of the Pioneers, a popular Western music group. The group was known for its harmonies and its emphasis on Western themes and imagery. Ken's deep, rich voice was a perfect fit for the group's style, and he quickly became a key member. During his time with the Sons of the Pioneers, Ken recorded several albums and appeared in a number of Western films. He also became a popular performer on TV shows like The Gene Autry Show and The Roy Rogers Show. After leaving the Sons of the Pioneers, Ken continued to pursue music as a solo artist. He recorded several albums, including The Ballad of Johnny Appleseed and Songs of the West, which featured traditional Western songs and original compositions. He also appeared on TV shows like The Ed Sullivan Show and The Lawrence Welk Show, showcasing his singing and guitar playing skills. One of Ken's most famous musical performances was his rendition of the song Tumbling Tumbleeds in the Western film Rio Grande. The song, which was originally written by Bob Nolan of the Sons of the Pioneers, became a hit for Ken and helped to cement his status as a Western music icon. Ken's music career continued even as he gained fame as an actor on Gunsmoke. He recorded several albums during his time on the show, including Gunsmoke's Festus Hagen Sings, which featured Ken singing in character as Festus. He also continued to perform live, making appearances at Western festivals and other events. Ken's music career was a testament to his versatility as a performer. He was equally at home singing traditional Western songs and performing in big band settings. His deep, rich voice and his skill on the guitar made him a beloved figure in the world of Western music, and his recordings and performances continue to be cherished by fans today. Chapter 4. Personal Life and Legacy Ken Curtis was known not only for his talents as an actor and musician, but also for his kind and generous personality. He was beloved by his family, friends, and colleagues, who remember him as a warm, funny, and caring individual. Ken was married three times and had three children. His second wife was Tori Ahern, whom he married in 1952 and remained married to until her death in 1994. Ken was devoted to Tori, and her death was a great loss for him. Ken passed away on April 28, 1991, at the age of 74, from a heart attack. His death was a great loss for his fans and for the world of Western entertainment. Today, Ken Curtis' legacy lives on through his work as an actor and musician. His performances as Festus Hagen on Gunsmoke and as a member of the Sons of the Pioneers continue to be celebrated by fans around the world. His recordings and performances as a solo artist are also cherished by fans of Western music. Ken's impact on Western entertainment is undeniable, and his influence can be seen in the work of many actors and musicians who came after him. He helped to define the genre of Westerns, and to popularize Western music, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of artists. In addition to his contributions to Western entertainment, Ken was also known for his charitable work. He was a supporter of Stust, Jude Children's Research Hospital, and made significant donations to the organization throughout his life. Ken Curtis was a true icon of Western entertainment, and his legacy will continue to be celebrated for generations to come. In conclusion, Ken Curtis was a true icon of Western entertainment. His talent as an actor and musician, as well as his kind and generous personality, left a lasting impression on everyone who knew him. His performances as Festus Hagen on Gunsmoke and as a member of the Sons of the Pioneers continued to be celebrated by fans around the world. His contributions to Western music and entertainment helped to define the genre and inspire new generations of artists. Though Ken passed away in 1991, his legacy lives on through his work and the memories of those who knew and loved him. 
We hope this video has shed light on the incredible life and career of Ken Curtis and the impact he had on Western entertainment.